In stage one of our Asteroids game, we set up the keyboard controls that control the spaceship and help it to fly around. For stage two, we're going to set up the shooting capability and the shots that will come out of the spaceship as it tries to shoot the asteroids. Stage two is going to be the shots, the shooting. Let's start by creating the movie clip for the shot, essentially, the bullet that spaceship will shoot for the game. So to do this, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the oval tool. And you can see here I've already selected a green color. And I've got the stroke set to nothing, no stroke. And now what I can do is I can just hold down the shift key to draw a perfect circle on the stage. So there's my perfect circle. Now the next thing I want to do is select this circle, so I'll click on it, and convert it to a movie clip. So I'll say modify, convert to symbol, and I'm going to name it MC-shot. And it's going to need a linkage identifier because we're going to be using it in code. So you have to make sure you open up the advanced tab, click export for action script and export in frame one, and change the identifier to just shot. Also, you want to make sure that your registration point is set to the center of the movie clip. You click OK, and it should look like this. Now what I want to do is this is going to be too big. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to double click on this movie clip to go into symbol editing mode. You can see here I'm in symbol editing mode. And I'm going to make sure that I have the object selected. I'll go over here to the eye, the info screen, and I can set the width and the height here. So I'll set the width to 5, hit enter, and I'll set the height to 5, hit enter, and now it's a perfect circle, as you can see, but it's no longer registered on the registration point. So what I'll do is, I'll go in here and I'll change the X position to negative 2.5, and the Y position to negative 2.5, and that will center it on the registration point. Now, if I go back to scene one, you can see that it's pretty centered, and that's what it looks like. So now I can select it, delete it from the stage, because I have it now in my library. So you can see it there in the library, and you can see the linkage identifier showing up right here on the right. So MC shot and the linkage name is shot. So I'm all set. So now that we have our shot that we can attach from the library, we can start with our coding. Okay, to code this up, we're gonna start by adding some variables at the beginning of the timeline. I'm gonna move this over slightly. Right after the call to the init function, I'm gonna put in a couple of variables here. So we'll start with var num shots for number of shots. And I'm going to set it um, to be specifically a number variable. No special reason, just that's what I'm going to do. And shot index. And I'm also going to statically assign this variable also as a number variable and set it equal to 0. And then the last variable that I'm going to create is shot time counter. So num shots, shot index, and shot time counter. And this shot time counter will also be a number variable, except I'm going to set it to 5 initially, and you'll see why in a minute. Then in our init function here that we have, right before we initialize the ship, I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to go in here, I'm going to say create empty movie clip. Now, the create empty movie clip function gets a capital E, a capital M, and a capital C. It's all one word, create empty movie clip, and then an open parentheses and a closed parentheses. And in the middle, what we need to do when we create an empty movie clip on the fly, this will have flash create for us a movie clip, and it's empty. And we have to give it a name, obviously, because we need an instance name for it. So we're going to name it shots underscore MC. And this is going to hold all of our shots in an empty movie clip. And then we're going to set the, the depth level to 1. And that'll work out nicely, because we set the depth level of our ship 
to 2, and so our shots will be on depth level 1. So the ship will be on top of the shots, and that looks pretty good. At the end, I've got a semicolon, so we're all set. So that creates the empty movie clip. Now, what we need to do is, we've got these variables, which we're going to be explaining in a minute. We've got our empty movie clip shots, and the next thing we need to do is set up the control for when we shoot. So we're going to go down to our function control, and you can see this is where we have our controls for our key presses. And we're going to need to make a key press for when we shoot. So what we'll do is, we'll go down here below the last else for the thrusting. What I'll do is, and then before the move function call, I'll go in here, put a new line, so you can see exactly where I'm at here in this function, right? So right here, and we're going to say another if statement. So if open and close parentheses, open curly brace, and it's going to be the same type of thing here. Let's see here. If copy paste, if key dot is down, and instead of key dot up, we're going to put in a number code for a specific key on our keyboard, and the number code we're going to use is 68, and that'll map to the D key on the keyboard. D is in David. All right, so if we press the key D, we're going to shoot. And so when we shoot, what we want to do is we want to increment the shot time counter. So we'll say plus plus, right? And that will increment shot time counter from 5 to 6. All right? And then we'll say if copy, paste, if shot time counter equal equals 6, which it will, it'll be true, then we can actually shoot. And we'll say shoot. And that is a call to a function called shoot that we haven't written yet, so we'll have to write that. Now, the reason I'm doing this is that in the game, since we're running 65 frames per second, we don't want to be able to shoot too much. We want to be able to kind of space out the shots for difficulty. Um, we shouldn't be able to shoot a million shots in under a second, right? So after we shoot, then what we do is, is we take the shot time counter and we set it back to zero. And then we won't be able to shoot again until the shot time counter gets back to, uh, let's say, six. So this will help us to limit the amount of shots that we're executing. All right, so we have that. We have our end if statement here, if, and the close curly brace, open curly brace, close curly brace, and then we have an open here and a close here. So this if is closing off to this, and we should be good. I can remove this empty line and hit Control Enter and look for any errors in the code. I don't see any. So it looks like all our curly braces are in place. So now what we have to do is we have to write our shoot function. So to do this, I'm going to go all the way down to the bottom of our code, and we'll just write the function at the bottom. So we'll go down here and we'll say function shoot, open and close parentheses, open curly brace and a closed curly brace. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to say if num shots is less than 5. And then an open curly brace and a closed curly brace. So in our function, the first thing we have is an if statement saying if the number of shots is less than 5, then we can shoot. This will limit the number of shots on the screen to 5 at any one time. So we will never be able to shoot more than 5 shots. Let's see here. Num shots right now, the variable is equal to 0. So the first time we press, the first time this shoot function is executed, num shots is less than 5. OK, good. That's true. Then we'll be able to shoot. And what we'll do is we'll say, first of all, we'll increment our variable. So we'll take num shots and do a plus plus on it to add 1. And then we'll say shot underscore MC equals our empty movie clip shots underscore MC. So shot MC equals 
our empty movie clip shots underscore MC dot attach capital M movie and so this will attach the movie inside of our empty movie clip and so we're attaching the movie clip the linkage identifier shot then a comma and then the new name the new name will be s plus our shot index which right now is set to zero then a comma and then we're going to take the shot index and add one so this will increment the shot index and put it at a depth level of whatever the shot index was plus one and this should attach our shot movie clip to the stage and put it in the upper left hand corner at at x0 y0 on the stage I'm gonna put a semicolon here at the end and let's give it a shot so we'll hit enter get it give it a shot alright press the D key and you can see up here in the left hand corner there's a little green here I can see that the shot was attached in the upper left hand corner you should be able to see your shot being attached at x0 y0